Hello and welcome to Forsaken Frontiers with Nico once more. This time we're going to be doing this a little differently and instead going through the two patches that have came out in under a week. The devs have been going wild on this game because they wanted to succeed and I think that's great. Been listening to community feedback, been all over it, which is great. And because of that, we get two new patches which what I'm going to do is I'm going to put what I'm saying and then put clips with what I'm saying. So I'll go what I say with the patches and then and then clip. So first of all, there's been big fixes to this game to address the difficulty that a lot of people were finding, which makes sense because obviously I have played this game for like 70 hours. I would not have the same experience of someone that has played the game for an hour. And usually, what I would imagine would be the perfect amount of time to play for someone that is new to the game is around three times finishing the objective and beyond that is is more... You have to play a little bit more to get past that kind of vibe. So if you're worrying about difficulty in this game as a solo player or as a group of new players, I think right now is the perfect time to, to buy in. The Metro now does not contain a spider... The butcher room is a little further away, but not too far away. Also, I think if you want to actually spend some time learning how the butcher works now, and most likely the Ventress, start hitting Metro. No spider, Shambler's got their times put back a little bit. With all this balancing comes an enemy that was kind of not in the game on the first release because the enemy was bugged. And that's the Ventress. You see... In the first release of this game, the Ventress was so bugged that you would never see her. However, since the patch, she is back in business, and boy, is she murdering me. She has been murdering me. Doesn't matter. It do matter. <laughs> Why? Why? What? The Ventress isn't really something that you'll get to experience much as a player that's not going deep a lot of the times. The Ventress on Metro spawns at 6. The Ventress on Hotel spawns at 5. The Ventress on Hospital, I think, is 2. And on Tunnels at 12. So if you're kind of playing this game, not trying to just kind of go in and out because you're scared, you're most likely not going to see her. However, if you're like me and are kind of playing throughout days through the entirety of them to try to get the maximum amount of loot because I'm a greedy little pig, yeah, the Ventress is out to play. And let me tell you, the Ventress is an enemy that you can deal with, which I'll show you in this clip. You could deal with the Ventress very easily with a door slam and a desk. I wonder if Anthrin died. And he just hears me serenading. Mm -hmm. Check that out. Check that out, Sansa. Check that out, Hussa. Uh, 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 uh. You think you can get me, but you're just a Ventress. All you need is a door slam and a desk. Also, for some reason, I want to put this in the side note. The butcher in these two patches is also a silent assassin. Oh! oh Oh, 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 silent butcher, oh, silent butcher, my. silent. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm not helping you. Hey, it's in my ear. Um, Are you still near the screamer? Because I'm near you. I'm, the screamer's on me. 
Tough. Oh, oh, silent butcher. Silent butcher. Oh my god. I've never been jump scared more in my life besides in these last two patches. So, hey, a heads up, a little warning. Uh, be ready to get jump scared. I've, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but I've been jump scared. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. The butcher has also been nerfed when it comes to audio. The Okay, first of all, the butcher can hear you now, but he could also hear less. So he's kind of a more, he's got earwax in his ears, unable to hear that well. But, uh, and I think the cone, so the cone in video games is what their eyes could see. And it goes like this. Whew. Their cone has been reduced, which I have a few clips of right here. And uh, it, it it's probably really nice for beginner players to to actually have a, a more balanced butcher. I think that he's still a little, maybe he should be able to hear a little more, but I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm tripping because I've, I know how to deal with the butcher myself personally. And I think that, uh, yeah, probably for a beginning player, these changes are great. Huh? It's okay. That's baller. Huh? Dude. Huh? Go over here. Okay. And then, like this. Do it a lot earlier than it seems, folks. I'm not gonna see any holes, but. Oh god. Are you not seeing me? No! Why does it have to be this way? And here's one for all you people that are scared of the holes. Hole update! It's a hole update, everybody! They have made the holes significantly easier for you. If you died from a hole over and over again, you should maybe die like 90% less. The metro hole has been completely changed before it was kind of hard to see you could only tell by in my last video it was like a hallway you could see a certain hallway now you can practically see it every single time there's a red light that's inside the hole they removed the bar that was kind of on the other side of the jump that made the jump kind of hard where you can bonk your head and just fall in so that's the metro hole it's gone completely Bro, my sensitivity feels off. oh how do you feel about the new uh the new holes what new holes yeah look you didn't, I mean, obviously you jumped over it. It's an, oh, oh, the light. I yeah, it's light and it's bigger. I did not know that it was bigger. Yeah, to, like it. tell jump has been changed as well. Where uh, now you have a little piece of pipe to jump onto. Uh, it, it requires skill to get on that little, if you're in a chase situation with a butcher or a spider, it takes skill to get onto that little pipe. Otherwise, you could actually still do the same jump, the same long jump. Uh, just uh, don't complain if you die if you do the super long jump. And Give me the hotel holes. Oh, there they are. So these are supposed to be easier now? I think.
Well, this is definitely easier. Oh, I see. I didn't realize there was a little spot to jump. Oh, but can you make this jump regularly now? Yes, you can, but you could aim for this. Okay, there you go. You could aim for that. Now let's, uh, let's go back. A lot of people were complaining about camping on the ship for the butcher and other enemies. And uh, due to that, that's, of course, hey, they don't want the train to be a safe place, which makes sense. However, around the train, different story. Added a new room, added with two desks, added a vending machine on the opposite side so you could hide. In reality, if you want an AFK, you could just kind of hide under one of those desks and you'll be fine as long as, long as you're not talking near the butcher or the spider. So you should be you should be a-okay and great. So just keep that in mind. You have more places to hide. And honestly, sitting AFK on the train, like what the dev said, is not supposed to be safe. Glow sticks added to the game. They match your color. I think it's very cute. You run around and me running around with my pink on. And that's what I'm talking about. There's a whole bunch of bug fixes uh, that happened, which you could see in the patch notes all list below. Uh, the Black Strain of Death still seems to be a thing that the devs are I, act, the devs are actively fighting against. So if you're worried that the devs aren't thinking about the Black Strain of Death, trust me. I think I think the lead dev is literally fighting with her soul to ensure that this bug does not exist anymore. But yeah, there's a lot of bug fixes that uh, I'll put in the bottom of here. Also, there's a fun little thing when you jump in front of the train now. Hey, have you jumped in front of the train? Have you jumped in front of the train? Hey, make sure you film that and send it. Uh, don't actually, you don't film it. You take a friend and then, and then you jump in front of the train and you see the new patch. No, I won't spoil it for you. You could do it. I'm pretty sure I, I got everything in the patch and there's a whole bunch of clips. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you guys have a great time for forsaken frontiering for Halloween this year. Hopefully you take, you give it a try. And honestly, I'm going to be playing this game after Halloween until Christmas because I think this game is great and I've been addicted. I streamed for five and a half hours last night just playing, just having a good time. I wasn't even doing any challenges because I was just having a good time. Twitch.tv slash Nico Fluffle Live. Okay, everybody have you. You have a good day. Have a good day.